the Earth isn't gonna work anymore. We gotta get out of here and find a new planet. It's Cosmic Run Regeneration. Welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name's Jimmy, and today I'm doing a Kickstarter preview of Cosmic Run Regeneration. This is put out by Dr. Finn's Games, and I want to say right at the beginning, everything that you see in this video is probably going to change. This is Kickstarter pr uh, prototype quality, and so stuff is going to change. But for the most part, this looks like it's ready to go. The artwork looks great, the components are nice, and so let me tell you about the game. In Cosmic Run Regeneration, you are rolling dice to move your ships two different planets. So basically we have five different rocket ships that are going to, going to be going throughout the galaxy to try to find an inhabitable planet where we can hang out and live. And so uh, the way that you do that is by rolling dice. And so you roll dice on your turn and you need to lo allocate them to six of these different planets that we could be checking out. Uh, the first planet is you just need one of a kind. So I could pick, or actually it's got to be a die that has a one on it. So I have to have rolled a one and I could place that there and then I would just at the end of my turn move my rocket ship up one space. Now if I had multiple ones I could place another one there and I could go forward two spaces. Not that difficult to go forward there. The next space is one that you have to have a pair and so if you go to planet number two you have to have two dice that are the same. Three, four, and five are just what you think. You have to have three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind. And if you do that, and for every pair of matching dice that you are able to place in that location, you will move forward that many spaces. Um, and then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then this last one over here, number six, you only move forward by using um, dice. Like So I could put any kind, a one, a two, a six, it doesn't matter what it uh, is. It's kind of like a dumping ground. They all have to be different, and then you'll just move forward that many spaces. Or you can use the yellow die, which is probably the best way to move forward on this track. And uh, this is just you place the yellow die instead, and it could be whatever number it is, and that's how many spaces that you move forward. The only catch is that when you place this die, it's got to be the last die that you place. So very Yahtzee style, you get to roll your dice, place them where you want them to go, and then you get to re-roll your dice and place the die down. Oh, I don't know what to do with that five. Another location that you could also do is place a die here onto your tech card, which just lets you get a crystal, and we'll talk about those in a minute. And then lastly, I could place that here. So I would move up one space here, one space there, five spaces here. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's say that I cross that and uh, then I'm gonna get a crystal for this die. And that would be my turn. Um, now they do have these little uh, tokens here that if you cross one of these, you get to take it. You don't have to show this to anyone. The points on these range from one to three, just straight victory points. Okay, so that's pretty much movement across the board. The other place that you can go to place dice are these alien tech cards. And so they tell you at the top of the card what number has to be placed on it. So if I had a four on my turn, I could place it here and I would claim this alien. At the end of my turn, I would discard this. This guy comes to my hand and now I get a special ability for that person. So like this says that I randomly take one of these tokens. During the game, you can only have five of these cards at any time, whether you have used them or you haven't used them. But during the game, there's a way to get rid of them so that you can get more, and that's by completing sets. So at any time you can get rid of one, it's worth a victory point. But if you happen to get two of a kind, they have a little diagram here that shows you if you're the first person to discard two of a kind, you're going to get seven points. And then you would just cover that up to show that that's been taken. They have three of a kind, three different kind, or five different kind. And so if you're able to collect five different kinds of aliens, then you are able to get 15 points if you're the first person to do it. And now these cards also give you a benefit during the game. So like I said, this one gives you these little point tokens. This lets you re-roll up to four die. This lets you up the value of one die by one. There's all different kinds of ways. There's six different aliens and they all do something a little bit different. And so if you collect these, you could turn them in during the game to get victory points. But the catch is you can't have more than five in your hand at any time, but you can always cash them in. So if you had five and you wanted to get another one, cash in one for a point and then take the new one that you got. Uh, a couple things happen at the beginning of a round. You're going to reveal an asteroid card or a meteor card. And so this says that an asteroid, a meteor, hit 
number six, planet number six. So I'd put a token out there and show that it hit number six. If another six comes up later on, I would flip this to the side number two. And if it got hit a third time, this planet is destroyed and it, the planet scores wherever you're at on this track. And so if you are the first person to reach this planet, you're going to get 10 points. Um, if planet number five is the best one, uh, you get 30 points if you reach the planet. And then, of course, they have points along the way. So if you didn't reach the planet and it blew up, you're still going to get victory points for that. What I like about it is that it's simple dice placement, you know, that I roll the die and then I try to think about where I want to go. The aliens are cool because it gives me another place to put my dice um, that might not benefit me right here on a turn, but then I have powers that I get to use these for. And so I like that it's not just set collection, like I'm wasting a die just to get a card, just to get some points, but I also have a benefit. Because getting four of a kind and five of a kind is not that easy. And so you definitely want to be able to have some alien cards that you're able to use to do that. Now you also have these tech cards that I talked about with these little gems, these crystals, and these let you do different things. Reroll two die, reroll four die, change the value of a die by one, either a plus or minus. You can choose the value of a die, like put it on any face, and then lastly you could get a bonus die to roll on your turn. So instead of having six die to roll, you now have seven. And so that's what these crystals do. And like I said, you get these by instead of placing a die out here, you just put it on your card, you get a, a crystal, and then later on you're able to use that. So really easy to explain. People have not had a hard time explaining how this works, even though there's a few things going on. Now you do feel like you're kind of juggling because you have to get so far along in each one of these tracks because especially in the easiest one, the one, you could lose 10 points if you don't advance on that uh, negative eight, negative six, negative four, negative two. So you want to kind of progress your guys. Some of these locations, you really would want to be the first person there because 24 points on planet number four is pretty awesome. Really simple, really easy to understand. And there's something to it. Now, I haven't played the original games. So I don't know how it changed, how uh, Cosmic Run is different from Cosmic Run Regeneration. But um, what I read online, Steve Finn said that uh, he was actually going to re reprint the base game. And instead of reprinting it, he thought, well, I'll make a few little changes. And this change led to that change led to Cosmic Run Regeneration. So this is a totally new game. And uh, I think that that's pretty cool to see that progression of him as a designer and how he's kind of tweaked things. I think that's awesome. So if you're interested, go on Kickstarter, check it out. It's Cosmic Run Regeneration.